more of practice to be successful in clinical practice one of our teacher used to say that this cannot be taught because everybody has his own approach his own identity in homeopathy then you will not only learn to walk but you will also learn to run that is why you will find it is very rare that in sem seminars which is organized in bengal we present any cases it may have certain advantage but the disadvantage is that one of the cases by student who is totally a novice with a fresh mind then he is preconceived about my mode of prescription so we rely more on telling him how things are to be done so that at proper time he can do it himself that was the strategy all of the colleges of bengal and the oldest of them was calcutta homeopathy college and there this was what was taught no cases were discussed rather these topics were taught so that you can do your case taking do your prescription that rather than telling you cases i believe more in telling you how to treat so that you can treat it yourself as a student or a practitioner and to master in fact is the evaluation of symptoms evaluation we all know evaluation means to give value to form an opinion of the amount or value or quality after thinking about it carefully so when you give value to something that is evaluation and evaluation of symptoms means giving value to the symptom so which symptom is more valuable which symptom is less valuable that is what the art of homeopathy is all about see case taking can be done by filling up the form but out of those information that we are collecting which is more important which is less important so the evaluation is something which need to be learned by all of us and evaluation is not limited only to the first prescription evaluation means not only first prescription but in according to his own way evaluation of symptom is the principle of grading or ranking different type of symptoms in order of priority which are to be matched with drug symptoms in order to cover the characteristic total and different methods of evaluation has been suggested by different stalwarts if we go back to the founder today is his birthday so today is the day to show our respect to master hanyman and to be grateful to him because this is of hand that the world got a new system and got a new identity as a homeopath so master hanyman as in most of the places in his organ on or in his different book he had been general, he has certain confirmation later on the evaluation was by boning hassan then william Bo later on by kent and his followers especially dr tyler gibson miller pierres kanjilal and then the names more to be added but these are the six names which are worth mentioning because later on are just slight modification let us has done things very easy as far as evaluation he said simply to one because basic aim is what the basic aim is to individual so anything which is going to help us in individualizing is important the more it is helpful the more it is important less those which are not going to help us they are he called them general sim he called them undefined sim i always say that in homeopathy you have to use your common sense wherever something appears normal that we cannot understand we are confused then the best way is to use your common sense. so he said ki general and undefined symptoms like loss of appetite headache anorexia these are not going to help us in individualizing or differentiating one from another but those things which are peculiar uncommon singular they are the one which is in and this is what he has said in aphorism 153 of his organ of meds but very often we miss a very important point when we are discussing the hanimans evaluation is that in 153 when he was talking about the characteristic symptoms or single uncommon peculiar symptom he was not talking about one symptom when he was talking about signs and symptoms he was talking in plural so it is not to be understood that one symptom it may be very peculiar or uncommon and that is going to help us in prescribing many a time we wrongly understand it as keynote fact is that it is not keynote it is keynotes uncommon symptoms uncommon peculiar characteristic these are not one but these are plural symptoms that uh, maybe for some other webinar uh, again i am sure so someone will continue to organize that so hanimans method of evaluation is very simple he talked about general and undefined symptoms which are not going to help us much in differentiating and those which are very important and characteristic and helping us then wherever 
Hanuman has just given a clue, and that has been given proper format by uh, Bonnie Nelson. Hanuman has given a broad guideline that has been specified by Bonnie Nelson. Bonnie Nelson, with his background of background of botany, was a master of doing these things practically. So when he talked about Hanuman, talked about evaluation, giving value to the sim, he Bonnie Nelson specified that these are the things which are important. very often we make a mistake. That when we are talking about morning essence evaluation, we talk about location, sensation, modality, and concomitant. But we forget that this is not evaluation. This is how a symptom is to be completed. These are the component of a symptom. A symptom has to be complete if it has location, if it, ha it has sensation, it has modality, and it has concomitant or individualizing feature. When he was talking about in the, uh, uh, evaluation, a contribution to judgment concerning <coughs> the characteristic value of symptom, and it is available in Bonnie Nelson's lesser writing. There he talked about the different points like quiz, quid, ubi, ubis auxilis, cure, humardo, huandu. And these are the different points which are going to help us in differentiate, in evaluation, and ultimately in. So these points, quiz, which means personality, quid means nature of the disease, ubi means seat of the disease, quibus auxilis means concomitant, cure, cause of the disease, Kuo modo means modality or circumstances, and kuando means time modality. These are of value, but Boningerson left one thing without saying. He talked that these things are very important, but he did not say about the relative value of these things. Means out of these things, which one is more important when compared to others? That part probably he left us for our performance or our intelligence to judge. Because one way of thinking is this, that it is not possible to specify that this will be important in every case. It has to be from case to case that it will vary. Even if he had not said about the relative value, but if we do the case taking ourselves, then we can understand that which one is more important and which one is less. Then comes William Borick. William Borick, like Hanneman, he has sim said symptoms are of two types. One, which is general or absolute. These symptoms are of general nature and essential for diagnosis. Here is a difference between the way the word general has been used by Hanneman and William Borick. Hanneman has said generals are unvaluable symptoms. And William Borick has said these are of essential because they are valuable for diagnosis. However, they are of very little value for individual life. They are the most vital for selection of the... Because what he before pre-Kentian stalwarts has said, Kent has... Kent was the first to introduce the scheme of analyzing, evaluation, and gradation. And not only of the symptom, but these symptoms have to be analyzed, graded, in such a way that it should reach the simile. And Kent has given highest emphasis to mental general because he said, coming from the Swedenborgian background, because he said that these are the symptoms which reflect the patient. So Kent's schema of evaluation are general, common, particular. Then he said they are symptoms are to be graded. First grade, second grade, third grade, depending upon the evaluation. So he said the general has to be first, second, third. Common has to be first, second, third, and particular has to be first. Dr. Shubro Kanjilal has talked about Dr. Kanjilal and his contribution in HMAI and homeopathic organization. But let us not forget that Dr. Kanjilal was a great academician also and a very original thinker, a classical Hanumanian prescriber. Dr. Kanjilal has added and taken Kent's evaluation to a. He said. Kent has made confusion by placing common symptoms in a distinct category as separate systems apart from general. According to Kanjilal, just two categories were enough, general and, and a general symptoms can have subcategory, one which is uncommon and one which is common. And a particular symptom, he said that only two categories are required and mental means characteristics and common. Physical means characteristic and common. And particular means characteristic and common. So this was Kanjilal. Tyler said that eliminating symptoms are those symptoms which are most characteristic to the case. Eliminating symptoms, then the scale of evaluation, they are the most topmost and most uncommon. And they also said that another important factor, quality of matching of symptoms should be taken into consideration. That is not only the quantitative matching, intensity of the symptoms. So not only these individual features, symptoms are important, but as far as constitution is concerned, they also become important when they are all mixed. And particular symptoms, then again Gibson Miller further went into it and said that particular symptoms, like when they 
are alternating with each other, when they are associated with each other, when the common symptoms are associated with particular symptoms, when special localization of common symptoms or special intensity is given to the common symptoms, they become more important. Two things of Miller is very important. One is that in case of acute disease, we all know that in case when a patient is chronic disease and acute phase comes, then the symptoms of chronic subside. They do not manifest. But Miller says that if they are present, time, some symptoms of the chronic disease may persist. And then general symptoms, and in general, he said that symptoms of stumbling, these are more important. William Boric, we already had discussed of Garth Boric. And his method, he said that symptom, demons, general symptom, had been used for symptoms like characters, determined symptoms, guiding symptoms, red line symptoms, red flag symptoms. The list went on for more than 500, then we stopped. So, Garth Boric's method was basic or determinative and determinative. He said that mental symptoms, importance wise, he arranged that mental symptoms, then comes general modalities, then comes qualified basic or absolute symptoms, and strange, rare, or peculiar, as mentioned by Hanneman. One more original contribution was of that of Dr. Boger. Dr. Boger, in his synoptic key, he has evaluated the symptoms in the following way that he said that modalities, and then mind, then sensation, then objective aspect. Then parts affected. According to importance, he arranged the symptoms. In modality, he says causation, time, temperature, weather, etc. In mind, irritability, sadness, fear, etc. Sensation, objective aspects, parts affect. Later on, Bogar, in his another book, Studies in Philosophy of Healing, in the second edition of the book, he says that cause and course of sickness down to the latest symptom, not newest symptom. Then comes modalities, then comes mental state. Then comes sensation, then comes objective, and lastly, part. So basically, there was some difference between what he said in that book and later on what he said in the philosophy book. So these are the things which are important as far as we have to understand the evaluation from different stalwarts for first prescription. But for second prescription, the question is, is evaluation required or not? And if it is required, then what are the things that we have to take into consideration? Or it is just the repetition of what is to be taught, understood in first prescription that we have to study. And this evaluation for the second prescription part is remaining. So uh, what I will request you is that let us keep a separate time for this and uh, allow me to conclude here. I'm sure there will be questions. I'll be here for answering those questions. If not, you can always forward it to my email. You have it.